Hi guys, I'm Mike Moliterno, and today on Mathy Jobs, we're here at East of Chicago Pizza, and we're gonna find out what kind of math skills you need to make a pizza. Let's go check it out. We're here with uh, Keith, he's the owner, and uh, Keith, what's the first thing we gotta do today? We're gonna go back, we're gonna show you how to uh, pound up the dough, proper weights. Depending on the size of the pizza, that's how much dough you're gonna need to use, right? Correct. Okay. One pound, six ounces. So if you had no idea, if you didn't, if you knew nothing about math, it'd be pretty hard for you to make one of these, right? Yes, it would. You'd be doing a lot of guesswork and you'd be getting a lot of uneven sized pizzas, I imagine. Math is very important. Good ball going here. Flouring up the dough. We're gonna put it into the sheeter. That's gonna press the dough down, make it flat, make it more like a recognizable pizza shape. first pizza. Kind of flatten it out. Okay. Want to get it floured up. This good? Just toss it in. Now, has anyone lost a finger in there? No. No? You gotta be careful. You can. You can? So here's the proofer, right Keith? Yeah. Now that we've done this, we're gonna put these in here for how long did you say? An hour. Yep. And this is going to make the dough expand? Yeah. Okay. And what is this? How, why does it make the dough expand? Um, basically because it's set on a temperature. It's 95 degrees. Okay. You so you have to have the exact right temperature. If you had the wrong temperature, you would yeah. get... You just ruin your dough. Yeah. You got no pizzas. Exactly. Nobody wants that. So here we are with the dough that has been... What? Proof. Proof. Yep. The dough has been proof. We are ready for the topping. Yeah, about a, about a half an inch away. How much cheese are you going to put on? There? Nine ounces. Nine ounces. All right, guys, now this is the oven. This thing's going to get up to 600 degrees. It's going to take the pizzas about six, six and a half minutes to go through here. This is where the magic happens. Make a plus sign first. Make a plus sign. Okay. Gotcha. And then you want to make an X in between that. Okay. And that gives you 12. Excellent. A little geometry there. All of this with a little hard work, patience, and some math knowledge. <laughs> well, Keith, I, I'd like to thank you for letting us come in here. I hope we didn't mess anything up too bad for you. No. No, not, not at, all. at all? Just a little bit. Well, join us next time for more mathy jobs.